Welcome to Talkin' Dogs. Today we're going to talk about six more myths about man's best friend. We've already covered a few of the most popular myths and facts about dogs, but we've barely scratched the surface. If you haven't seen the first video, click here or check for the link in the description. Number one, jealousy. First, we'll start with a correction from the last video. Previous studies made claims that dogs cannot feel jealousy. However, more recent studies have shown that dogs can feel a base level of jealousy. This means they are jealous, but only in that moment and they do not hold grudges. So that might explain your dog pushing their siblings out of the way to get pet. Number two, tug of war. Some people feel that playing tug of war causes aggression in dogs. It's actually been linked to decreasing aggression. This myth probably started when people noticed their dog really getting into the game of tug by growling or snarling. Trainers actually use tug of war to help teach dogs how to play and even boost confidence. Number three, alpha of the pack. In the 1970s, the practice of dominance-based training was popularized because of a theory that alpha wolves led their packs by being aggressive and dominant towards other wolves. This theory led to a lot of false information being repeated as fact. In more recent studies, scientists have found that dogs and wolves alike do not display aggressive behavior when establishing pack leaders. The pack leaders are often just the wolves or dogs that are parents taking care of their cubs. So your dog isn't fighting with you for dominance, but they are counting on you to teach them right and wrong. Number four, catching colds. Many people think you can easily catch your dog's cold or flu. In reality, it is very uncommon. In fact, you can't give your dog your illness either, unless your illness is from something like Salmonella or Giardia. One thing to keep in mind is that people with weakened immune systems due to autoimmune disorders are more likely to catch colds from their pups, as are people who are undergoing chemotherapy. Number five, hypoallergenic dogs. Sadly, there are no dogs that are completely hypoallergenic. Some dogs are more friendly to people who are allergic to dander and saliva, but no breeds are completely hypoallergenic. Breeds that shed less and hairless breeds will certainly help people who are allergic to dander. And for the people allergic to saliva, smaller breeds produce less. Number six, cooling off. If your pup has been running around on a hot day, you may think that getting some water on their head would cool them down. After all, that works on humans. But dogs actually cool themselves down by splashing water onto their chest and belly. If you've ever seen a dog digging in a water bowl, that's what they're doing. Thanks for watching Talking Dogs. Hopefully we cleared up a few things for you. Do you know any crazy myths about dogs? Let us know in the comments and remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye. Thanks for clicking subscribe. If you like this video, check out one of our other videos here.